Hey guys, over the weekend I went and bought this really great contraption, the Lion Mart adjustable hanging rack. In its entirety, this is what it looks like. It is absolutely phenomenal and I highly recommend it, especially if you happen to live in Hong Kong where space is extremely scarce and you don't want all your components and so forth all over the floor. Um, like what I've been doing for the past uh, few months so far, it's been quite bad. So this is the Lion Mart adjustable hanging rack. And this is uh, something brand new, which has just hit the market. And so far, in the short time it's been around, it's just been phenomenal, at least for me anyways. So what is this uh, adjustable hanging rack anyway? Well, basically what it is, it's a whole load of components in a box that you can put together and you can hang up your clothes, you can put shelves and things without having to drill holes in the wall. And it's just extremely nifty. So if we have a look at how this comes to be, let's just take a look. So uh, what you have are these poles from the top all the way down to the bottom and they are adjustable. There is a spring me a mechanism up here and you can attach these plastic things that have um, other components to hold pieces of board, which you can use to hold um, books and other bits and bobs. And I've bought three of them. O originally I bought two and I bought some shelving components. So it's a modular system. So you, what, what happens is you buy this and this is what a typical box uh, comes with. So you get a pole, you get hooks, you get clamps. Uh, this is called a hanger and you get the base. So the bottom base and the top base. Uh, it's not a suction cup, it's just a rubber end. And you can see from the sample pictures how you may typically use it. I've only had this for like two days and so far it's it's been great. I've been wanting to get something like this for years. The problem is because the place where we happen to live, the landlord's not very happy with people drilling holes in the wall. Uh, and it, it costs money to kind of get it done. It costs money to fill the holes and it's just too much hassle. So this is going to save a lot of trouble for people that want to set up their own shelves without compromising the state of the walls. Okay, now let's see what comes. Well, there's a sample picture of what you can uh, actually have. So you, know, you can set it, so you've got like three poles. You can have some shelves, you can put your hooks. I do have two hooks up at the top, but unfortunately it's not really in the best location. So I might have to work on that later. With these hooks, you can put an extra pole uh, across and you can hang clothes, but uh, we can't really do it here because th we, the space does not allow for that. But anyway, let's go back. Yeah, so you can put your TV there, um, home media system, trophies, plants, and so forth, and triple rods. user-friendly. <laughs> the pole base won't hurt the ceiling. I love it. Uh, do not hurt the ceiling. Extremely versatile. Yeah, and this is very important, especially, like I say, if you live in Hong Kong. Hong Kong space is extremely small. This is what you get in the box, mind you. So these are all the components. There are some extra poles in the box. Um, I might just show you. So if we could just, this is a very random video, mind you. So if I could just open up this box. So these are just some of the poles and some of the hooks that you can get inside the box. So it comes, these are just some extra poles. So if you have a ceiling that's a lot higher, you can add additional um, bits of pole to make it longer. You also have these hooks that you can use. You can hook uh, clothes and things. You can also put uh, poles on the side. We 
we have some 3M adhesive that we can use to uh, stick the boards to uh, this plastic hanger. But uh, I'm, actu I'm actually using blue tech or white blue tech. So if I happen to, uh, if I want to uh, adjust the uh, shelving in the future, I don't have to worry about the adhesive because the blue tech comes off quite easily, but it also holds the board or the shelf quite well. So that's all my Arduino kit. These are some of my files and my miscellaneous books and so forth and you know things I haven't touched for a while. They used to belong over there, but this uh, section was getting extremely messy. So I figured it would be so much better just to put it on shelves, which I've done. Um, so I put a little calendar there. And this is the website. This is lionmart.com.hk. We went to a market in Hung Hom and they were selling this over the weekend. They were promoting it and it was very, very popular with the commuters. And uh, slightly unrelated, I, I, have a t um, I have a Raspberry Pi here. It's got a Nintendo emulator, a little game of Chip and Dale with a joystick, keyboard and uh, mouse. And that's for another story for another day. So there we have it. So. The Lion Mart adjustable hanging rack. And this whole contraption, if you want to know how much it cost, um, the first contraption was about 390, no, sorry, 420 Hong Kong dollars. The second contraption, so this extension part was about 290. So you're looking at about, uh, four, what was it, 420 plus three, um, well, you're looking at about maybe just over 700 Hong Kong dollars, which, um, it's not bad, really not bad at all. So there you have it. Thank you so much. I fully recommend this. And mind you, I am not an employee of this Lionmark company. I do not uh, represent them officially in any way. I am just speaking uh, as a consumer and I'm personally recommending you to uh, buy this, especially if you live in Hong Kong, as I've said a few times. So the website is lionmart.com.hk. And there we go. So thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Take care and goodbye.